Item number, SCP-637. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. When inactive, SCP-637 is contained entirely within the consciousness of SCP-637-2. SCP-637-2 is to be held at Site-17 in a low security room. Anything it requests is to be given, as long as it does not violate standard procedure. However, any requests for pencils, pens, sketch pads, or any marking implement are to be denied and reported to Dr. The issue has been raised that if SCP-637-2 wanted marking devices, it could use a fluid, such as blood or urine, but the subject has not displayed a marked interest in drawing. It is agreed, however, that it is wise not to tempt fate. Subject is to be fed three times per day and whenever it requests food. Description SCP-637-2 is an elderly Caucasian woman of approximately 65 years of age who calls herself Margie. Margie has been described by staff as polite and old lady-ish, if a little confused. She spends much of her time in a semi-catatonic state with occasional lapses of lucidity. SCP-637-2 is the host of SCP-637, a psychic organism which subsists entirely in SCP-637-2's mind. SCP-637 is described by its host as a little black cat, skinny fellow, real easygoing. Although the creature normally resides in a blank space in the subject's mind, it is capable of residing for several minutes as a drawn item on paper, wood, or other substance. If any sapient organism not previously carrying SCP-637 sees the reproduction, the image will vanish, and SCP-637 will take up residence in the new subject's mind. Based on information gathered from SCP-637-2 and D-67308, the organism behaves exactly as a normal cat, and its host is always capable of describing what it is currently doing and where it is within their head. SCP-637-2 shows affection for the theoretical creature. SCP-637-2 does not recall where she saw SCP-637 originally, so it is assumed to have been living in her mind for some time. Addendum Dr. believes the creature could be useful, including the possibility of mass-producing the cat and adopting it for use in psychic warfare as a means of crippling the subject and plans to continue testing on other subjects. If no uses are found for SCP-637, then it is believed that it will die when its host does. Unless further experimentation is warranted, it is recommended that we prevent SCP-637-2 from releasing SCP-637 onto paper in order to maintain the good mental condition of our agents. Document 637-A Test Subject D-67308 was exposed to an image of the organism drawn by SCP-637-2. Subject gained a disheveled appearance and made several comments like, Nothing works. Isn't working. Want the cat out. Nice kitty. When the subject was informed that it would be placed in quarantine for 24 additional hours, it reacted violently and swore at the guards for several minutes before lapsing into a semi-catatonic state. The subject's behavior was deemed non-harmful and the subject was moved to a low-security dormitory on the site. After 12 hours, the subject unexpectedly self-terminated using the broken edge of a ceramic dish provided with its meal. The subject was observed making several loud remarks, such as, Get the cat out! I want the cat out! Leave me alone! And commenting that the organism was a brain-sucking parasite before death. It is worth noting that at approximately the same time as D-67-308's termination, SCP-637-2, who had been sleeping at the time, sat straight up and exclaimed, Kitty's back! Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-636, Elevator to Nowhere, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.